Good morning, my friends. Today is Tuesday, August 9th. It's Tuesday of the 19th week in Ordinary Time, and it's the optional memorial today of St. Teresa Benedicta of the Cross. She was born Edith Stein. Uh, she was born to a Jewish family in Germany in uh, 1891. And so at the age of 14, she became a, uh, an atheist. She was a brilliant uh, woman. Uh, she got her degree in philosophy and, uh, you know, was one day reading the autobiography of St. Teresa of Avila. And after she read it, she said, this is the truth. She was always seeking uh, the truth. And uh, 10 years later, she joined the, the Carmelites. And uh, when when it was found out that she was, uh, was a, you know, born into a Jewish family, she was taken away and, uh, and died in Auschwitz in, on August 2nd, 1942. Um, and so uh, we, we pray for her intercession today. In the gospel today, we hear a story. It's so interesting, you know, I'm, I'm here in, in Lourdes, France. We just had the candlelight uh, rosary service and there must have been 500 people in wheelchairs that have been brought here, you know, for healing in the, the waters. And listen to what Jesus says from Matthew chapter 18. He says, um, sorry, the wind's blowing here. Who is the greatest in the kingdom of heaven? Who's the greatest in the kingdom of heaven? He called a child over and placed it in their midst. And he says, amen, I say to you, unless you turn and become like children, you will not enter the kingdom of heaven. And you should have seen the, the tears all around us as, you know, wheelchair after wheelchair went by us. And I thought, these people are, are close to God and God is close to them and, and loves them. And, uh, you know, the children, the poor, the marginalized, uh, those who have disabilities, um, you know, God loves us all. And he has a special heart for those uh, who are suffering. And he says, whoever becomes humble like this child is the greatest in the kingdom of heaven. Well, we were walking uh, in the, so I'll show you uh, a little bit what you can see at night here, the statue of uh, Blessed Mother there. I had a, a family come by and one of their sons was, uh, you know, mentally uh, disabled. And he just grabbed my hand and held it and uh, they asked for a blessing for him and for their whole family. And I thought, wow, I just felt the love of God for this young man. And, uh, you know, my heart goes out to him, not in pity, um, just how God loves us all. And uh, I had somebody say one time, Father, why do you dislike rich people? <laughs> I don't dislike rich people. Um, it's just that the, the heart of God goes toward those who have suffered. And uh, I know rich people suffer, poor people do. God, God loves us all as his children and he wants us to humble ourselves before him. He goes on to say, see that you do not despise one of these little ones. For I say that their angels in heaven always look upon the face of my heavenly father. So this is where we get uh, the idea of having uh, guardian angels. Uh, each one of us has a guardian angel that while looking upon the face of God, they're watching out for us as well. And, uh, and then he talks about if a man had a hundred sheep and one of them goes astray, uh, will he not leave the 99 and go after the one? This sounds crazy, but this is the abundant and extravagant love of God for each one of us. We often think, or we always think, I think, that we're in the 99, not the one, but at different times in our lives, we've all been that one that's strayed. And God in his love and mercy seeks us out and he's willing to leave everyone behind for you and for me. So as we, we think about uh, and, and pray for the intercession of St. Teresa Benedict of the Cross, born Edith Stein, um, you know, a woman who was sure that there was no God and then came to believe and gave her life uh, for Christ as a Carmelite nun. Um, we hear about Jesus calling the children to come to him in, in, in our littleness, in our humility. Let us come before the Lord today and say, Lord, you know, I, I give you my life. I surrender my life to you. 
and I trust that you have this great plan for my life. So let us pray. Heavenly Father, we thank you and praise you for your Son, Jesus. We thank you for the times in our lives when we've been humbled. We thank you for any of the suffering that we have that may bring us to our knees and draw us closer to you. We trust that you are with us, especially in our suffering. And may Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Please continue to like, subscribe, and share these videos with at least one person today. I'm here signing out from Lourdes, France. And to you and to your family, buen camino. Not sure how to say that in French. Maybe you can put it in the, uh, in the comment section. And also know that August 10th uh, is the, the deadline. Wednesday is the deadline for signing up for Be Formed. So please register before 5 p.m. Uh, this Wednesday, August 10th. God bless you.